I don't know the country music world, you know? So. Oh, well, you know, it's just me and my dear friend Reba McIntyre. Oh. No, I'm lying. Okay. But I'm manifesting. Reba? Reba! And welcome to the podcast. Uh, today <laughs> is May 17th, 2022. Um, every time I have to really go over that date and go through it. Um, thanks for being here. Welcome to everything about the scores. Danny Jollis. My name is Danny Jollis. So excited to be here. We, uh, as always open with like the same basic bullshit ask. Just if you like this, subscribe, rate, comment. Literally, you are an adult and you know what to do. It has been the same ask now <laughs> for seven years on wow. every podcast. Just <laughs> do the things that you know podcasts want you to do. Be a friend, tell a friend is a thing I really like, some people say. And get involved. Get a lot of messages these days from people with sports stories. Very helpful. This week, not a super eventful story week. Wow. A lot of actual good sports happened. Real good sports. Yeah, the Capitals got knocked out, though, so. Well, what can you do? They you can't win them all. I mean, that's it's sad. They did their best. They did best. And did then uh, Dynasty Typewriter, June 4th, special taping. <gasps> Please. Uh, Come, uh, because we will fill it at a certain point with randoms. And I don't, I want it to be as many people that know me as possible due wow. to the tech gimmick. Join Yikes. Us, join I'm us. Sorry, on. I've interrupted great. you. Is this about sports? I thought it was about uh, music scores. <laughs> <laughs> I was prepared to talk about John Williams. I am wildly uh, uh, underprepared. We can talk about John Williams <laughs> for a hot second. Um, hi. Talk, talk about what's the name of the guy who did the NBA on NBC, John Tesh. John Tesh Radio? Is hey, did, it the same guy who used to be a... He had a radio. There was a John Tesh who had a radio show. Ooh, let me see if I'm getting this name right at some point, but it's the guy who did the... Probably someone else, but great that's video. great ditty. That's a great one. Join us, Noah Kopfer. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, oh, no. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> it's, it's one section of every podcast where I really turn to you, and it always feels like it catches you off guard. Yeah, because I'm always afraid. Yeah, I have so much going through my head where I'm like, if I move the mic too soon, it's going to create noise while you're talking, and I would rather die than do that. So then it's just me caught in a whirlwind of panic. Oh, but sure. hey, that's just life, isn't it? I mean, I agree. <laughs> How was your weekend? Good weekend? Uh, it was good. Yeah, I went I went to the Ren Fair yesterday. That was really fun. It was first time going to that. That was really exciting. I always um, find those weird. Yeah, it was more packed. <laughs> uh, acceptable. Uh, more packed than any day at Disneyland I've ever been to. Really? Uh, 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 almost, uh, uncomfortably packed. Like, um, pe there was too many people. You couldn't really stop and look Some at anything. Some would call it a real renaissance. <laughs> for the All right, fair. I'll shut off the cameras. And we'll <laughs> <laughs> um, but and then I texted you. I downloaded ESPN Plus, which is a big growth for me as a Huge. sports fan. This is what the show does. It'll yeah. turn people wow. into sports fans. Yeah. Oh, no. Other than that, pretty, pretty, pretty chill weekend. Had a show in Huntington Beach that went very well. And that, yeah, there we go. Yeah, there it is. And joining us, sometimes we have a guest. Sometimes we don't. Oh, wow. This week we have a guest. I'm so honored to be the sometimes guest for the week. Yeah, we have yet to not have a guest in this iteration of the show, but during the podcast, it was just me and Jess for the entire time. You mean the pandemic? The pandemic, yes. yes. What did I say? Podcast. You don't. It's fine. <sighs> yeah, no, you, you got to say sometimes you don't to prepare for the inevitable, which is getting canceled on. Yes. Or... 100%. You have to create an element of like... Sometimes we do it alone. What do you want me to do? It's hard. Yeah, <laughs> People I, cancel all the time. So often. So often. Good to be here, though. Join us. You might know her as a staple at the comedy store. <laughs> I think. Yes. A I'm, staple. I, I hold up the wallpaper. Were you in the dock? I was. I knew it. Yeah, I was uh, I was wearing this exact jacket, actually. Really? You see me in the hall. I passed by. It's very brief. Let's do something. Let's do something. Yeah. It's my credit. Showtime. Comedy There's me. Store, comedy store staple. She has a new podcast called Slobs with Laura Bites and Steph Tolev. Great podcast. She's wonderful. Jessica Michelle Singleton, everybody. Thank you for having me. It's so great to be here. I'm so excited to talk about sports. And yeah, I know. Stuff. I know that you love talking about sports. I, I, you know, I like sports. I feel like I can't go back to being a full-blown sports fan. But last year I did fantasy. Yeah. Football. And I was like, uh-oh. Fantasy? I used to be diehard, and then at some point I fell off. It's tough. Fantasy football is very tough if you haven't been paying attention. Yeah. Because it's a lot of names that you're like, who yeah. are any of these people? Yeah, my team was called the Chubba Chubb Club. Ooh. So I had <laughs> I had Nick Chubb. I had Chubba whatever. Chuba. I don't even know how to say his name. See? I don't listen. I just read it, and I'm wrong. But, but that was great. 
It was good. Did Chubba I win? Hubbard was his yes. name. Yes. What a name, Chubba <sighs> Hubbard. And that's an unbelievable pull by me. That is not a well-known player. Yeah. Uh, I and I put his him in the team name. So that's about <laughs> uh, sums up my sports knowledge. How'd you do in the league? Uh, you know, mid, mid-tier. That's fine. Fourth, fifth out of ten. So That's great. I got in there. That's nothing to sneeze at. Yeah. Did you play sports growing up? I played so many sports growing up. Which uh, Soccer was my main, the thing I was good at. And then I was the uh, really enthusiastic person who was like, I'm just going to try. I don't, I, I would kill for the audacity and the confidence that I had in high school to just be like, y'all yeah, go out for the softball team. That's so cool. I'm going to play, uh, I think I'm going to play basketball this year. I mean, you do do stand-up comedy professionally, just as yeah. a reminder, but. <laughs> That's, which is very audacious. But, but also I, becomes, but, but also at a certain point becomes not that brave. At a certain yeah. point, like you settle into the bravery of doing it and then you're like. Just another day at the office. Now it's just another day at the office. Yeah, I, the bravest thing you do is like share your real opinion. And right. you're like, ah, <laughs> oh no. Yeah, the bravest thing I do every month is my one tweet a month where I'm like, I got to tell you. I really had it with this one, the element of comedy. And yeah. I delete it five minutes later and I'm like, I shouldn't be. Someone's going to not book me on their show. No one's going to be mad at me. I don't want to upset oh, people. And that, yeah. And to have that and know that I've ever played a physical contact sport, it's like weird. That's a weird dichotomy. Yeah. You'd be like, well, I might hurt someone's feelings, but then I played hockey and would and just like rail body people. check. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, ter- I was on more than one sports team where the coach was like, you know, you're not really good enough to be here. We just like your attitude. And I'm like, great. Happy to be here. That's nothing to sneeze at. That's, yeah. No, I, I, I have, mm, I had multiple letters in high school of sports that there were probably people on JV that were like, you fucking bitch. There's a guy on the Dallas Mavericks named Boban Majanovic. <gasps> I'm, I met, I met, I, you met I, Boban? I saw him. And, and you'll at, know if you see him because he's seven, six. Well, he, at Little Dom's in Los oh. Feliz. And I didn't realize it was him. He I didn't, he didn't seem insanely tall sitting down. Right. And then he stood up and I was like, ah, yes, you are so terrifying. <laughs> so terrifying. He's the Boban. Ni- <laughs> he's the nicest person on the planet. And he's like, basically, he plays every now and then for the Dallas Mavericks, but he's basically there because they just love him. I mean. And it's like his attitude. It, literally, he's like the attitude guy. He just uh, kind of sits at the end of the bench. I'll he's take a that. Sight. Seven, six, monster. In John Wick. And uh, appears in a John <laughs> Wick movie <laughs> just because they were like, this guy's so funny. Look at him. He's a monster. Yeah, I was the Boban Marjanovic of my high school hockey team. Uh, <laughs> what position did you play? I was uh, outside like right wing. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. They didn't call it right wing. I think right I use like, I. that's like, right wing. I was also that in soccer. And now my brain is I feel like together. in soccer, it's like right striker. I feel like it's oh. the correct term. But oh. they probably use wing. I was a wing in soccer. There you go. I was, I ate a lot of wings. I was, yeah. That was the one sport I was decently good at. And then it was just done for me once everyone started growing and I didn't. Same here. Like I was competitive Uh, uh, until sixth grade. And I was like, oh, the, I like, I played keeper for a while. And I was like, oh, the goal gets bigger. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, I guess, uh, I guess I'll go to hockey then. Yep. I, I played goalie in soccer. And there was the day where like the first tryouts where it was like, huh. I can't help but think it's going to be a massive disadvantage for me that everyone's so much bigger than me by such yeah. a big, given the fact that the entire b- position is based around how much ground can you cover. Yeah. And I'm less ground. I'm Yeah, and it takes me uh, longer. My steps are just uh-huh. naturally smaller. I mean, the, the varsity coach of the soccer team uh, commented on my height immediately when I... Mm-hmm. Try it out. He's like, "Well, this is gonna, this is unsettling." Well, my <laughs> <laughs> unsettling. <laughs> I remember that because I tried out for basketball. That was my sport that I was like, "I'm gonna make it in." Man. So that was the one that probably was the worst as far as height. the most painful. Oh, well, just about one, and they also, I mean, I'll never have ankles that work again. But um, <laughs> just landed on everyone. Wow. But I was tiny, but I remember trying out, and I was under five foot when I went into high school. Oh, so tiny. I'm not gonna. I'm still under five feet, but you're a boy, and I that know. hurts. Oh, it was bad. I was so small. Could you ball? Were you like crazy dribbler? I was pretty good. I had a really good shot. It was a yeah. hot second. When I had a really good three, so I was like, I could, I could run. I could be like a really shooting guard. Was really my strength. Was like, yeah. I could bring the ball up. I could be your point guard. But honestly, there's better. But I was <laughs> like, if you could just kick it to me in the wing, and I just knew where to be. I was really good at being where like technically where to be yeah i'm good at seeing the game i was really good at seeing the game i'd make a lot of plays be in the right position 
good defensive threat as long as they didn't bring me inside then i would get destroyed of course oh yeah no it's i could be in the right place but then you get me the ball i'd be like oh, yeah. oh there was a hot second where i was really good and then i tried out for the uh high school team and it came down to this other guy nate oh, was you're, also under five feet you're mortal and there was enemy clearly one of us was going to make the team wow and it was him you're like well we got to meet numbers <laughs> So one of these babies got to be on the well, team. Like, like, okay, could you not say that where we can hear you? You throw, I know, right? But you also do throw off a defense. It's like hard to kind of figure out. Yeah, because they don't know how to block you. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, I'm gonna go between your legs. Yeah, yeah. What do you I want was from so me? Quick and annoying, and I was divey. I was like, a little, a little, yeah. Little. I did a lot of uh, the classic. Uh, I don't, I don't know if this is just lady basketball of yelling, uh, ball, 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 ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, just upset him. Oh, yeah. Get out there. I mean, the amount of times when I would go into games and coaches would give me the weirdest things that you should, you would never say to someone that's good. Like, <laughs> I, I got put, I, I was going up to bat in softball one time and the coach is like, whatever you do, don't swing. <laughs> Maybe you think about it, just don't even try to swing. And I was like, all right. If it's coming, just let it hit you. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> And you worked a walk? And I did. I got I got on that bag. There you mm. go. That's right. That's what you gotta <laughs> Take do. that. Did you I was my, my nickname at one point was Diving Danny Jollis cuz I would <gasps> dive so much. Oh I was cuz I just was known for my diving. That's wait. I was very physical in basketball. Basketball. Constantly diving for and the no ball, people constantly were just on the ground. I, you're not wow. supposed to be. It's not a good <laughs> sign for your game that you're diving a lot. Hey, there he goes again. He's <laughs> just, just in the air sideways. But if That's... I could, oh, constantly. If I could, <sighs> if the it, ball was savable, I loved throwing my body around. And wow. We pay the price now. Do you watch any sports currently? Uh, you know, I tune in and out. I'm unfortunately one of the uh, what's what's going on in the finals. Mm -hmm. I love a live sport, but I just have I don't have the endurance. I get it. To follow a team all season, which a lot of people hate, but no, you know, I'll, I'll tune in. There's no it. wrong answers in this podcast. I know. I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. Yeah. That like playoff season, I'm like, all right, what's going on? Let's get in yeah. involved a little. The, 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 a, a large group of the fan base of this podcast, and I take pride in this, are people who don't watch sports. Thank God who, bless you. And I just kind of, and I feel like, because I want it to be that, because it shouldn't be. I don't like the element of sports of like. Then it you don't watch every aggressive. game. Yeah, there's well, people who like. I'll go to a sports bar and they'll like come at me. When it's like they're, I mean, man, when someone's whole personality is sports, it's not good. When you're like, if there's a strike, this guy is gonna spiral. Oh yeah, <laughs> like he's not gonna have anything. He's gonna hit his kids. Oh for yeah. Sure. Oh, it is some for some people the only thing keeping them going. Yeah, it's wild how much someone can attach their whole identity to their team. And I know. Like, Boy, you don't have. Nothing else. You're not uh, playing chess. We're not knitting nothing. <laughs> it's just Packers or I screaming to avoid. Mm -hmm. And for the record, I mean, I did. I would have. My teams have been bad for ever, but really recently. And so I've been very like when your teams are bad, you can I watch sports, but it's calm. I'm not a, I'm not one of those yellers. You can't be invested because you're like, well, we're not going to win. We're not going to be. We're not good. The Nationals right now, not going to win. They came into the season telling us that. Everybody who knew anything about baseball was like, don't even think that this could be a good season. No. It's not a good season. But I'm calm. Capitals were in the playoffs and they lost game six over the weekend. And I let Man. out a couple very loud yells. And I was like, ah. Wow. You hate to see you still got it in you. Yeah. They're like, oh, that was <laughs> I am just Damn. falling apart like Ovechkin's teeth. Remember him? Remember his tooth? Where'd it go? Oh, love Ovechkin's <laughs> teeth. Uh, I almost made a Twitter account probably a decade ago called... Uh, I feel like I, I feel like I must have influenced that a little bit. The no, Ovechkin. my uh, my my high school boyfriend was a hardcore Capitals fan. He has he has no tie to that area, and was also a Redskins. I know where that's not what they're called now. Commanders. Whatever. This is the old days. This is the olden days. The, the We're just referencing days. an old time. Yeah, we didn't know any better. How could we have known that the words red and skin next to each other could potentially be offensive? Yeah. How were we to figure that out? What does it even mean? I thought it was about potatoes the whole time. <laughs> That's to be what honest. I thought. I had no clue. Ah, uh, but uh, do you have a commander's jersey now? Are you like all the way in or are you still like? Uh... I'm angry. Oh, I mean, I'm in on the name. Yeah. I really loved the football team. Yeah. I loved Washington football team. Yeah. I thought they were going to keep that. I did too. I was like, that is bold bold funny let's go we're a bit love a bit love yeah. love bits and sports and then Commanders. the commies 
Unbelievable. <laughs> just such a disappointment. The so Washington I communists. I haven't bought anything yet, but I will. Yeah, I know. And you I'll will. hate it. You'll but you'll get there. I'll do it eventually. The season's a ways away, so I'll hold out for a while. So that'll really show them how mad I am. Yeah, take before that. Before I, I inevitably give them my money, as I always will. Yeah, for an authentic jersey. I'm oh, not, of course. Well, what I'm buying the off-brand stuff. <laughs> yeah, man. No, if no. I'm going to buy it, I'm going to buy it for real. Yeah, I'm giving my money directly to the MLB. Of course. Is um, it MLB? <laughs> it's NFL. Um, I know that. <laughs> Ooh, more coffee for me. Well, <laughs> sports talk. You're doing great. So you knew Ovechkin back in the day, though. I did. I did. Oh, uh, Ovechkin, those of you that don't know sports, the star player of the Capitals, very Russian, very good. Very good. Very Russian. Very Russian. Uh, it was well, hard in Alaska because we're like a diehard hockey place, but we didn't have an NHL team. Of course. So, no, but there was no like sense of group right, loyalty. In Alaska. Yeah, huh? You grew up in Alaska for Yeah. Place. We had an ECHL team that people went hard for. That, by the way, I think my freshman year of college was sold on eBay. They they did the selling of the team on eBay. Was it a gimmick? Yeah, but it was real. <laughs> That's I mean, so maybe crazy. not. Maybe it was all a press thing, but I mean, it was sold for a very large amount of money, and now they're gone. But there was a big uh, it had to be a traveling New Jersey for Devils oh, the ones that... fan because uh, uh, fan conglomerate because uh, Scotty Gomez was Ooh. from my hometown, so he mm-hmm. was like a hometown hero. There you go. And then everyone got into the was it the Rangers when he and uh, Dubinsky played. Let's go. Dropping That's all a, I know. Dropping a Dubinsky reference? Oh, oh yeah. Is Who this, got fingered by this... Never mind. <laughs> Everyone in my hometown. Uh, Wait, what? Hey. I'm kidding. I don't know him. I knew his brother. Great guy. There you go. Yeah. That's something. It was Dubinsky adjacent. Um, well, Jessica, we could talk all day about your hometown of Alaska. No one cares about that. We could talk all day. We got to talk about sports. Store, but we're here to talk about sports. Let's do the theme song and let's start the show. You're a number one fan, so you know the stats. Heard all the pundits talking, so you know enough of that. Maybe it's time to hear some crazy folks chat about all the other stuff that's behind the net. But maybe you don't care about playing ball and you want to hear the gossip, whether big or small. Maybe it's time to hear some funny folks talk about what goes on when the batter don't walk. Maybe you'd like to hear a little more. Maybe you don't even care about sports. Either way, go on and buckle up your shorts. Because this is everything but the scores with Danny Jollis. Yeah, doggity. And we're back. Yay. Jessica, did you like the theme song? It was so good. It was go. so themey. I definitely heard it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I love is how how some some comics will be like, oh yeah, I was good. like they'll go along with the bit, and then when, when Robbie came in, Robbie was like, I didn't hear anything. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, great, great, Robbie great, great. Hoffman, definitely our most aggressive guest. So far. wow, yeah, did that surprise you? No, not at all. I, I <laughs> when I think of Robbie Hoffman, I go, wow, probably a huge sports fan. <laughs> Came in here and like first words were like, I hate sports, and I was like, love this episode. We're gonna have love some where fun. this episode's going. <laughs> Off to a great start. And then I begged her to like it. She kind of came along by the end. Did she? Yeah. Wow, look at you changing lives. I do a pretty good job. True. Yeah, you're a used car salesman for sports. Our first. It's so ah, true. Ah, ah, God, that's ah, such ah, a good description of what I do. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I know baseball seems boring, but what you don't understand is that it's got personality. Yeah. yeah. Look at those butts. That's <laughs> women. We should be watching more baseball butts. I'll tell you right now. Baseball butts. Baseball Famous. butts. Famous. Oh, yeah. Andrew Jones. Wow. Move over, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> what a behind on that guy. <laughs> well, our first story is about baseball. Oh, goody. This is, a, this is a potentially a quick story, but I like this story a lot because I, I discovered it over the weekend. It's about a player <laughs> by the name of Wander Franco. Wander? Franco. Yes. W-A-N-D-E-R. Related to James. Oh, I wish, but no. <laughs> what a family. But he is related to Dave. Um, um, okay. That makes sense. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, yeah, he's a baseball player, born in Dominican Republic, plays for the Tampa Bay Rays. That's all you need to know about him. Go Rays, go. Go Rays, go. Yeah. But what I learned over the weekend is that they, I was looking and I was like, oh, his dad's name. Is Wander Franco. Oh. Classic. Classic father giving son name. Yeah. Family. <laughs> then he has a you get how families work. You understand. You understand that. <laughs> then he has a brother. Oh no. Named also, Wander Franco. 
Oh, that guy really just wanted his name to go somewhere. He's like, one of these kids will amount to He's something. He's also got a brother named Wander Franco, who's also playing baseball, but not as well. Harper, can't have it. <laughs> can't have it, Harper. Literally walking in circles underneath you. Just Harper is spinning in circles. She cannot believe that there are multiple Wander Francos. Multiple Wander Franco. 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 And what, wait, so is his other brother? Not as good. So there's not one, as good also in the MLB or not as good, not going to be major leagues. Doesn't look like it to be major leagues, but we don't know. Baseball takes a while to get up there and it's kind of hard to tell. Is who's he on a farm it. team? He is, is he in the minors? There are a bunch. They're all, I believe, in various. There's things. a team of Francos. Wait, there's how many of these of, Wanders are there? There's also another brother. No, no, there's not. Also named Wander Franco. You're kidding. There are two brothers of his named Wander Franco. There are three Wander, Wander Francos. Francos. Four. Plus the including father. Wander Senior. Mm-hmm. So this is the Senior Wander. The clone troopers from Star Wars. Basically. They're just all the same guy. There's also a brother named Michael, which I felt was <laughs> worth mentioning. That's upsetting. <laughs> the, That's actually <laughs> more upsetting. <laughs> like, what happened to him? I also was like, no one's going to mention the fact that Michael was just he loved. premature. And you're like, well, he won't be an athlete. What mm-hmm. is? What's the? That's. You think the other Wander Francos get pussy pretending to be their brother? I. I mean. He's, I have no idea what they look like. They could be they very look different. Incredible. They, they look, look like brothers, baseball players. You know what I mean? they, they look like professional baseball players. Yeah. So they all look pretty good. But um, and Mikhail's an artist. Oh, and sure. and Wander Top Wander is top wander. the Top Wander, as I refer to him. The Top Wander is going to make a bazillion dollars. Well, wow, he's like so top the notch set. major all, league. Oh yeah, yeah. He's going to be a. This is a twenty-one year old all star already. Wow. So he is like to so this family at this point. Like, Unless he gets injured. Unless he gets injured, but he'd have to get such a serious injury. Baseball is such a sport where you can where you can really, really as long as this motion is phenomenal. For yeah, you, if you don't like, throw out a shoulder somehow. Yeah, but even then, you just rehab. He's going to make a bazillion dollars. It is very wow. safe for that family to bet on a bazillion dollars in their family. And he's not going to give a penny to any other. Wander. He won't give another one. Well, but Michael will, will get him some money. Yeah, he's like you did nothing <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Keep painting your little paintings mm-hmm. <laughs> or whatever he does. I mean, I'm poor Michael. I think he's also a baseball player. But either way. It's, uh, yeah, there's two brothers of his name, Wander. Then a brother named Michael, father's name, Wander. Wander, top Wander, had a son two years ago. Named him. Named Wander Franco. Is this a bit? What? <laughs> What's going on? I discovered this over the weekend. And I was like, I think this is the most insane family I've ever I've heard I've never of. heard of this. Never heard of this Not many Not once. Like... That's wild. Also to have such a unique name. Because Wander Franco, from the get-go, when I started the story, you were like, Wander. Exci- yeah, so unique. <laughs> uh-huh. Apparently not at all. Well, not, not very unique, unique at all. even a little bit. Not unique in one town for sure. No. There's it's... one town where they're like, Wander's the name we every wander, day. Wander, Wander, Wander. Which Wander? Yeah. How many times do you think they've had to say that in school at some point? Like, which Wander did it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That's, that is just. And so his wife is pregnant. Wow. And so the real story here is his wife is pregnant and she is doing summer. Will there be a sixth Wanda Franco? Oh my the God. The world awaits the news. That would be a four, five, six. Yeah. Be the sixth Wanda Franco wow. in one family. If it's a girl, will it be Wanda Rita? Wanda Rita. That's a fun. That's fun. That sounds like. If if they did that, that it would fun. be like confirmation of like they're in on the bit. Yeah. Or would they're it be, like, got ya. It could be Wanda and that's more like casual. Oh, where you oh. Wanda? You going to Wanda somewhere? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Then like he Especially with how popular the name the Wanda is probably right now. For sure. Getting a little Marvel bump. Oh, that yeah. name in general. Wanda is mm-hmm. making a comeback mm-hmm. as a Marvel. Look at that. So, yeah. That's... I just don't even know what to do with that information. I it's just a like lot. truly. Do they know that there's other names? It's just. <laughs> <laughs> they Boy. know about Michael. Yeah. They figured out Michael really good. I want to hear his story. That's. I want to talk to him. I've ne- I I've because ne- like growing up, I've like always looked back and been like, there's certain people who had bad names growing up, but I've never known a family that went. We had a we had twins named Carlton and Carly. Wow. At our school, and I remember thinking that was insane appalling Appalling. yeah like what are we doing to these two kids that is unacceptable yeah that was the one i remember like when i heard the story i was like carlton and carly is the only reference point i have of names like that where i was like what are we doing to our kids i'm trying to think if i had any but i remember there was some kid in my school with the last name whitehead and that just seemed unfortunate but that's about it i had an aunt named ada hamburger what 
Ada Hamburger? Mm Mm-hmm. Changed her name, so when she got married, yeah, obviously. That's what but, you. Well, even if you don't get married, you just change it. What are you just, doing? You can't live like that. Are you allowed to change your last name without getting married? Why? If you could change your first name, why can't I change my last name? Like, if people can just like go to the DMV, fill out some paperwork, and be like, "This is my new name," you should be able to do any part of your name. I guess that's true. I don't why know. not? It was a thought I had. I was just like, I don't know if you're allowed to. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Why would you be allowed to if you get married, but not? I want to change my last name for well, no reason. Well, because I'll tell you this, because the government incentivizes marriage so much. It's insane. It's insane. Tax breaks. Oh, we're learning about them oh. in this household. And I'll tell you, unbelievable. You cannot believe I didn't get married years ago. <laughs> when, you do, when you learn about it, you're like, oh, well, I see why we have a divorce problem. Because so many people are probably just getting married because they're like, oh, it's a $5,000 minimum decision if you get married. Wow. It's just immediately like your taxes just get cut in half. That is such horseshit. And you're like, why? Sorry, is this a clean podcast? I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's not a clean podcast. You're such a, a clean person. I am a clean person. Yeah. Dip corporate. Um, <laughs> that is. He does it all. I really do. As long Are as you it's... Wander Franco? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> um, that's the tale of Wander Franco. Wow, that. It, I mean, that is. I cannot believe that's real. It's real. Wow. It's real. Did did multiple checks on it because I was like, <laughs> feels like a bit that I'm falling for. Imagine being the worst wander. Oh, it's got to be brutal. Wander, wanderer, wanderist. Ugh. Ugh. You just have to know like the the amount of competitiveness between those three brothers to then like have one that doesn't keep up. It's like, ugh. Yeah, it's to be, be just... the whatever that Manning is. Remember that Manning? Well, no one does. Our, I um, <laughs> what is his name? People do know it because apparently he was the best of them all. And then what happened? He hurt himself. Oh, yeah. That's what I would say, too. They say- <laughs> Yeah, the injury took me out. You didn't. You fell, the- you fell asleep on the sideline and fell off the bench. <laughs> you weren't in the game. Cooper Manning? Yes. Cooper They claim he was the best of them all in high school. That's a way but to get- save face. But let me tell you, there's another Manning. Coming up right now, his kid, Cooper's kid. Cooper as a kid? It was in high school right now. Wander Manning. Dom- <laughs> dominating. And now college football players can make money. This kid's about college to- College football players can make money now? College football players can make money now. Huge, huge story. Do they that still I- get scholarships and money? Yes. It's- I have a lot of thoughts on that. We don't have to go into it. I mean, if there's ever been a podcast to go into your thoughts I on that- I just- <laughs> Man, we had a terrible kicker with a full ride scholarship and it pissed me off. <laughs> when he's like, I got a full ride. And I was like, you are an, a national embarrassment. You have ruined our football season single footedly. I like, I was like, you got a full ride. And I just feel like, oh, yeah, well, I get kids it. Are You're pr- risking a lot of damage. I think the bigger issue is. Endorsement's fine. Well, so it's endorsements. So they're able to take endorsements. Oh, so they're okay. getting a full ride plus endorsements. Okay. So well, then that's just like being an influencer at this point. A hundred percent. And it's and it's not just being... An... But it's like, what does the university care about when the whole football team has full rides and me over here studying chemical engineering? I didn't study that. You might have. Had to pay? <laughs> I did study a little bit of mechanical and the, then I was like, it's too hard. The argument against your side is going to be chemical engineering while a wonderful art form. Mm-hmm. Some would call it craft. Some yes. would call it a it Makes industry. a lot of the things you consume. Uh-huh. Brings in no money for the college. Whereas... That's true. The college football team prints money and the players get none of it. So that's why people have been fighting for college this. College football games should be free. That's a, that's now now we're talking. And, and let me tell you that. Good luck pitching that to the universities. Yeah, it's the thing keeping them <laughs> yeah, alive. Like, You're like, oh, we're only afloat because hey, well, of we, our... We were thinking, what if instead of your football team making you money, you didn't make money with it? Yeah, what if it was just like, you know, sort of for morale? <laughs> for morale. So I don't think that would go over great. That's fair. If someone's making money off of your work, you that's should the be thing. getting money. They should be getting a cut of jersey sales. They're, for a long time, college football teams sell jerseys that's of the true. players and they get no cut of it. They're finally getting a cut of that. So that's why a lot of people are fighting for it. It's like, it, it is a good thing. But of course, immediately these college football teams now are like, yeah, we got a sponsor over here. And he says, if you come here, 
hundred thousand dollars. Oh, they've got like people in the back. Oh, it's just remember there was always a thing of like boosters were giving people money behind closed doors. Now it's like kind of now allowed. It's Nike is now, giving. Yeah, now yeah. it's just Nike, but it's a dude from Nike who loves Alabama football who's like. Yeah, yeah roll tide. Who throw you a scholarship? Man, I should have played football. <laughs> As if that was on the table. <laughs> if only I had played. That's one of the ones that I'm like, I'm glad I didn't No, I would have been wrecked. It. I almost joined a, the college rugby team. And then I was like, you know what, actually? I don't have the time. I was on a flight back from the flight back from Vancouver this weekend. A rugby team was on. Wow. And let Maniacs. Me, first off, the most obvious group of humans were they all in their tiny rugby shorts you're like really we they're all just this? massive and they're all i mean it's just like their build is so specific oh yeah it's all up here they're little like soccer player legs that carry them down the yeah, line but, they, but even those they're like they're wide and they it, it's just like whoo whole lot of human strong dudes yeah all right that's the story of wanda franco we'll be right back during this break in the action if you have a story idea send it to me you can email it to me. You can message me on Instagram. You can message me on Twitter. You can message me on yeah, all the ways to send it to me. Send me ideas. I'll shout you out. I like it. I don't know everything. Send me ideas. All right, back to the show. You on the Nationals? People think it all the time, but would you believe I'm instead a aging stand-up comic? And we're back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Would you believe instead I'm already too old to even dream of joining the majors? That's a wild thing to think about. That it's like, as, as if that's the only issue, but like. Oh, even the Wander Franco story when like he, he like, uh, like I was just doing research on him and it was like, oh, he's 21. It was like 2021 or 2020, 2001. He was born. I was like, whoo. Wow. Just talking about this guy who is a child. It was like getting ready for high school then. Yeah. I think. Wow. That's. Yeah, you and me both. Where does the time go, Harper? I hear you. Harper the dog joining us this week. Last week took off. She said, <laughs> not into the Adam Con over, but this week she's yeah. back. This guy knows everything. I don't want to deal with him. <laughs> he always ruins things. She's like, oh, this lady's stupid. I'll sit by her. She needs assistance. And for those just listening to the podcast, that is going to be a riveting little section right imagine there. Imagine. But imagine dog. the dog. But also, I can't stress enough watch the YouTube version. Yeah. Why I'm not? still very unclear as to. But people love it. People love the YouTube versions. Because they can leave comments? Leave comments. I think there's a little bit of like the physicalness of it all. I you think get for to me, see it. I now I like, feel like I should be more yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always for sure. Whoa, sports. I'll look down the middle. I'll look down the barrel all the time when I do this. Yeah. Yeah. Little. <laughs> <laughs> Just to, behind the scenes, I did take a picture of you right when you did that. And that is an amazing picture. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. You guys are missing hot content. If you're just listening to this with your ears, what are you doing? Driving? <laughs> Who cares? Turn on YouTube. What is this? A podcast? And so it's like, <laughs> it is crazy that podcast now we're like, watch us. It's like the whole point of the medium. Yeah. Was is initially audio. But now and we're the pressure like, of like, oh, oh, you're the whole thing goes on YouTube. Well, I guess I. Boy, have I shown up to things I didn't know they were filming looking like a pile of diarrhea. I've started now telling people. I told you ahead of time. Yeah, I've had. I When I couple started guests, filming A couple mine, guests earlier got, <laughs> got a little angry. Um, and you're like, well, don't be a slob. What are you doing here? Why are you showing up? Why are you showing up looking like that? Oh, Yo, you're okay with me having to look at you like this. Yeah. But God forbid a stranger on YouTube sees you. I know. Sort of offensive to you, honestly. I know. Well, people, you don't care about me. Oh, that's not. True. true someone cares we're now gonna move to the world of golf oh finally something exhilarating <laughs> <laughs> golf is fascinating it, yeah I, that's a word that could be used to just I, what's fascinating is how people enjoy it but i don't come for me you golf fans what are you gonna put down your beard and well golf no. is going through a very interesting got him <laughs> <laughs> got him <laughs> absolutely cooked what those an guys. interesting uh what well, reawakening period where so there's been one if you don't know sports there's one organization that runs all golf the pga, PGA. exactly i know that PGA i've been Tour. to the riviera golf country club she's cultured yeah <laughs> she's a cultured lady yeah um the pga has been the only golf organization in the game yeah about a year ago golf incorporated <laughs> i mean well, basically they were like if you want to be a professional golfer this is where you play it's like the nfl but and there were no competitors no competitors and now they have xpga there is a 
It is called the LIV Invitational Series, which is a uh, basically started by a group of Saudi Arabian billionaires. Wow. Hello. And they are Harper. I swear. She's trying to dig a golf hole right now in the carpet. She is going to poop under that keyboard. She, I wish she would, but she doesn't have the guts. Um, uh, <laughs> LIV, so it's Saudi Arabian money. They're offering crazy amounts of money to go. What is LIV? What does that stand for? No clue. Um, great question. Should have looked They're up. offering an absurd amount of golfers to money to golfers to come do this invitational. $25 million for each of its regular season is the purses. So every every single tournament that they have, twenty five million dollars is up for grabs. I am willing to golf. So it has caused quite the stir because a lot of people are like, a lot of golfers are like, okay, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But is PGA like exclusive? Well, PGA of course is like no. If you play first, this is our league. You can't play in another league. Well, one it's invitational. One it's thing. Saudi. It's one league? it's like Saudi Arabia. So it's like. It's not the best country. They do a lot of things that are pretty bad, murdering journalists, etc. Oh. So people don't love... So out of the gates, PJ is like, hey, you probably shouldn't do this on a moral level. You should not be going to Saudi Arabia to play. It's yeah, like, you should. It, Take their money. Okay. <laughs> That's blood money, and they're going to do something bad that you should get it and invest it into helping fund journalist safety. There you go. That's right. Robin Hood. With those golf clubs. That's good. That's a good point. But good luck not getting murdered. So over the there. Saudi Arabian I don't know how it works. Like... That's probably gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> I don't think so. Hooray! I think, I think that was a that was a fairly in jest. And I think an interesting point. It is like a lot of the golfers are like, look, this this money exists. I can go take the money. You know, it's like yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to make a living playing playing golf. golf. Playing golf here. You know, so it's disrespected. Like, you know, and by the way, the PGA tour isn't the easiest place to play for. They've made it very exclusive. Look up the Augusta National, like where they play the Masters. That place let women in five years ago, debatably. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're horrific down there. Yeah, and you but have to like the, come from money to one even of the most be... racist places in the world. So it's like how you know it's sort of what what ground does PGA really have to be like moral high ground when it's like well yeah, you still do the Masters at Augusta. But I'm assuming they're not offering that money to women in Saudi Arabia. Is that? Oh yeah, no. That's not on there. There's no. L L I V. No, 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 no. Okay. Quite, quite the contrary. Well, um, so, now I'm out. But this has caused a lot of stir among golfers. One of the most popular golfers alive. I think if people know one of two, it's Tiger Woods and Arnold Palmer. That's a good one. But Phil Mickelson is the other current one. Yes, the Golden Bear. <sighs> Lefty, we call him. Ah, who's the golden? There's a golden bear. Is there a bear? I don't know. The anyway, golden bear. <laughs> old trivia question about golf that I don't remember. Okay. I don't, I don't know if the golden bear. Look up who the. No, can you look up who the golden bear is? Because that does sound like a name of someone. I think it is. I think it is. I don't think it's that guy. But so Phil Mickelson is like one of two of like Tiger Woods of like beloved. Yeah. He has had the worst year I've ever seen a person have. As wow. far as ability. Golden Bear is? Jack Nicklaus? That's right. Jack Nicklaus, yeah. Nicholas. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's Laos. Just... Okay, yeah. Gotcha. Nicholas. <laughs> Jack William Nicklaus, the Golden Bear. <laughs> really went hard with that first impression. I try. Um, <laughs> very big deal to some people. He's a very good golfer. Yeah. Um, Not as good as Phil Phil Mickelson. Mickelson has won a ton of tournaments, beloved. And in the past year has said so many things has had one of the worst runs of a year I've ever seen from beloved to hated. hated. And it all started with Saudi Arabia. Is it his playing or is it just what he's saying? What he's saying. Oh no. Just one of those where like he got In he mouth. got a little he got a little into social media. Uh oh. And he sort of did the like an you know, old golfer got on social media and it became a problem. Well because early he got the positive reinforcement, right? Because early he comes on and he's like making jokes and people are like Phil Mickelson's Phil. hilarious. Love it. And then he starts giving a pity. He's like, Phil's got good thoughts. And then let's talk just, about politics. Just, and you're like, goodbye. So Phil. yeah, he like early had like some vaccination stuff that was like, great. Je Phil, like he started <laughs> dipping like, oh no, Phil, Phil, don't do that. He suggested his excessive coffee drinking habit to protect him from catching COVID. That was one thing he said at one That's, point. You know what's probably protecting him is being a golfer and not being around anyone. That's a fair argument. One of the safest What do sports. I need to be vaccinated for? I'm outside alone. Golf and tennis had, had real runs during the pandemic. Yeah, that Both was the right there for you, Phil. And you had to bring coffee into this? And NASCAR. Um, oh. NASCAR was... They, 
they they really killed it during the pandemic. Really? They weren't like... They were like the first sport back. Cause, yeah, it's one dude in a car. <laughs> I was like, they weren't like really pro. Just like somebody drives a Pfizer car for sure. Who's that? Oh, Who drives a probably. Pfizer car? An unvaxxed man is driving a Pfizer <laughs> probably. car. Probably. Just... All of those things are true. But yeah, you're just, sure. oh, you're just alone in the... So he screwed that up. Then he uh, then he started going after like the PGA Tour. And he was like, you know, we might leave. I might be going. Um, he then... So he starts grumbling, I might leave. Everybody's uh -oh. like... A threat. Everybody's like, don't... Uh. PJ Tour immediately is like, if you play for them, you're never... Like, you will face serious repercussions. Like, you can't... We're not doing this. Like, do not play for this. What are serious repercussions? Potentially kicking him off the PJ Tour, at least suspending him for a couple of years. Well, he'll have $25 million. He'll be fine. We'll probably have $25 million. Yeah. But, you know, this is uh, that's where he makes his money. Hey, say whatever you want about vaccines and other things. But if you play in another league, you're done here. We have morals. <laughs> it's true. Again, they all play at Augusta National. It's, yeah. One of the worst places on the planet. The south of the south, really. One of the, like, a laughable institution, that country club, of just like, every, think of a thing, they've done it. Ah, uh, and they're like, but don't go play for Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is have, have some dignity. <laughs> well, you you played in Augusta. <laughs> and so he like came out. So he like said all these things. Then he was like, I'm not doing it. Then he's like, I'm gonna go over there. Then he said, I'm not gonna go over there. So went back and he was because he was like, they're scary over there. They're killing journalists. I don't know how I feel about it, but also it's an opportunity. So he like acknowledge. He made the mistake of acknowledging that it's bad that he's going over there. Yeah. But then still being like, but it still might. But I might. Like. To just be, because there's other golfers who I think are going over who are just like, I don't know. I don't know anything. I'm yeah. a golfer. I'm a golfer. Don't go to me. He was like, I know they kill journalists, but it's a really interesting opportunity to reshape the PGA. It's literally yeah. his quote. He's like, do we really need they, journalists? They killed Kuzgoski and have a horrible <laughs> record on human rights. They execute people over there for being gay. Knowing all of this, why would I even consider it? Because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to reshape how the PGA Tour operates. That's an actual quote to acknowledge yeah. those things and then be like, but. I don't read and I ain't gay. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, it's Phil time. And you're like, okay. And so all of this. They're going to love me over there. Oh, I know. Well, he might. There's a real world he does because he has like, he's killed his reputation. And then a lot of this came out in a book. He has another book coming out next year. Wow. Who wrote that? Well. Super. Not Phil. He's not a journalist. So he, it's written by, so it's a biography. That is written by a man named, here it comes. Wander uh, Franco. <laughs> <laughs> um, something Walters. I didn't actually. Barbara. Something Walters. Um, this guy was convicted of 10 counts of conspiracy, security fraud, and wire fraud. Wow. Uh, and he, well, Fred, he was, a, he was, he made 40 million training Dean Foods food stock. He uh, went to jail and was granted clemency by Donald Trump in January 2021. That kind of a person. Ah, yes. Has the next biography coming out about Phil Mickelson. Phil Probably Mickelson, a very honest biography. Super seems like a really good guy. Yeah. This guy. Seems and, like really doesn't and let Phil Mickelson, to the cracks. They were working on the book before all this. Phil Mickelson refused to testify on his behalf because he was worried about his image at the time. So this guy is actively angry at Phil Mickelson and has a full biography coming out. On, the on Phil him. will not read. That will not read. It. It'd be really funny if he just slaughtered Phil and he's like, my new book <laughs> yeah. and never read it. <laughs> he's going to destroy him. So everybody's like, Phil Mickelson's about to have. But did he get clemency because he's going to write that book on? Is he like, I think oh, Donald Trump was like, I need the next Phil, I need to know Phil, what Phil Mickelson Mickelson book. They say that he has a gambling problem as well. Do you want to hear about it? <laughs> yeah. My buddy, Phil. I mean, wow. So yeah, so Phil Mickelson, if you, it's going to be, it's going to be added to the list of stories we're following on this show because sometimes we come back to things, Jessica. Look at you, circling back. We like to circle back. Sometimes stories get have an interesting follow up and I go... I go, for example... Phil Mickelson is dead. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been one week. <laughs> wait, when we come back from quick for Quick Hits, I have a follow-up story. Okay, that I'm ready. Gonna really love. Okay. Um, yeah. But that's the end of the Phil Mickelson story. Is it? It's not the strongest ending to a segment I've ever done. Could have, could have ended it just with a goodbye, but instead we did it. Anyway, all right, we're done. Go to the Quick Hits. Oh, hey there. During this break in the action... I just wanted to throw out there that this is the perfect opportunity to write a comment or subscribe, or if you're listening, you can just uh, give us a rating and a thing, whatever you want. Just this is the moment where during this break, since we don't have a Patreon or anything, this is the moment to do something like that. It'd mean a lot. 
All right, back to the action. Everybody calls Noah the Taylor Swift of the podcast world. Thank you. Question That's mark? actually huge. That That's is very yeah, nice. Wow. Why yeah. even a question? Uh, she's I don't the, know. She's literally As the one. Boban Marjanovic of my high school <laughs> hockey team, let me tell you, Taylor wow. Swift, way better. Thank you, Boban. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift is really like navigated everything perfectly. Yeah. I mean, yes. there are a lot of country music industry and country music fans that really will not like let her leaving country go. they're like mad about it but it's like who well, cares it was so good it, it's like it's one of these things where i think you're not like, country anymore it's like they just yeah. try to erase her yeah it's like she was so good yeah good luck good yeah. luck erasing her those first couple songs are bangers yeah what do you think when you think tim mcgraw because i think taylor swift <laughs> um just on a quick follow-up to an earlier story, Dan Snyder, the owner of the Commanders. Ah, I thought you meant Snyder's Pretzels, Ooh, Dan Snyder. Unfortunately not. Don't know if his name's Dan. <laughs> made that up. Or if that's even the name of the pretzel company. Mm. Owner of the Commanders. Commanders, who we earlier, earlier yes, kind of today. covered is one of the worst people <gasps> on the planet. No. We cut a long story about him. Uh, the guy who took forever to change the name of the team and actively and actively is, said i'll never change the name never it's a non-starter you're issue. telling me that's not that a good person human, not good still in charge of the team has not been removed but is now also under state uh the state of virginia is also auditing him because they believe he's been stealing money from them as well <gasps> just another i mean the amount i just don't understand anyone at that level that it's like you have enough you have so much just do, just do the money right. Like, also, you, you're going to be fine. I know. You own a football team. You own a football team. You're going to go to jail. Yeah. He's going to go to jail at some point. I think he has to at some point. To have an unimaginable, about, um, unimaginable amount of money and then go, I need to launder more. For what? For what? For why? Just live your life. Just have money. Yeah, just be rich and go Away. He can't even go to the football games anymore. He's not allowed at the football. He's not games. allowed at the football That's games anymore. That's hilarious. And if he ever does show up again, which he probably will at some point, we're he gonna keeps trying to sneak in and costumes. Boo him out of the arena. Yeah, you can't come dressed as a Native American. We're gonna spot you, Dan. <laughs> this happens every week. <laughs> Literally the same costume. Try something else. Every every Halloween party, they're like everybody pretend it isn't racist. Yeah, the Dan is. He pays our checks. Just try not to be in photos. With there him. he is, great looking guy. Oh, I see. I get. I get what you're doing there. Really fun. There was a uh, Alabama college baseball game. Wow, they have it a was... baseball team. That's great. The uh, there's a college. Um, yeah, I know. I oh, just okay. meant I didn't know there was anything besides football there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know there is. I'm just being okay. Yeah, um, I know. Uh, a raccoon was in the stands. Oh, and a man, because I we're obsessed with cats on the field on the show. A wow. man picked up this raccoon by its neck and nope. just walked him through the entire stands and out of the stadium. It was the most Alabama thing I've ever seen in my yeah, entire no, the life. The most Alabama thing is what happened to that raccoon after that man left the stadium <laughs> with him and took him home to his private residence. It's, uh, boy, that is so Alabama. R.I.P. Mr. That raccoon. Mr. Stripes, I yeah. assume. I don't know. I mean, he was, he was out there living his life and then he got... <sighs> Just, big Alabama fan. He's like, I'm just trying to enjoy the game like the rest of you. I'm trying to watch the game. He's like, no, this is a dinner in my new hat. The wildest. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good point. Uh, it's a fair point. That, rac <laughs> that raccoon is, I guess, dead. But it was a, it had a good run. Yeah. The guy it, got it out of there, though. That's He did his job. It seemed like it was probably terrorizing that entire stand section. So it's. Hey, you seen the raccoon yet? Oh, what the heck? The raccoon's just pooping everywhere because it's so terrifying. Oh, the raccoon was... <laughs> We were ah! trying to bite him so hard, but he he had a grip. But Man, no, I, raccoon was. I'm not afraid of you, Mr. Raccoon. He wasn't letting it happen. Man. Uh, some t Max Scherzer. Yes. Who I think you might remember, uh, pitcher for the Nationals. Yeah. We loved him. Now he plays for the Mets. Known as a little bit of a psychopath. Can't stop hitting people. Can't. Is it that guy? No. No, never mind. No, he's uh he's not that kind of psycho. He's more of a psychopath. Like he's very intense. He's not like a bad human psychopath. Oh, he's more just of like, like a intense baseball psychopath. Actually, really good person. The Scherzer Foundation is a wonderful foundation. He's actually a really great. good guy. But Hiding behind your money or donating. <laughs> <laughs> what is he? He's just like okay, you go. But ahead. he's just very intense. He's yes. a very intense baseball player. I take baseball very seriously. Famously, like one time he was pitching and the manager came out to like. Sometimes they come out to remove them from the game. Some come out just to talk. And the manager started coming out, and he just looked over and screamed, like, no. no. And then oh. the manager had to walk out and be like, 
So I was just going to say, if you could just, you know, try to do better. And then like left very quickly. But it was like, he just, he runs. No! He's, oh, wow. he's one of the best pitchers in baseball and he's allowed to do that. And he's just very intense. Wow. Uh, very fun when he's not pitching. Like a good, a little, like yeah. four out of, because starting pitchers only pitch one out of every five games. So four out of five games, you see him in the, in the he's at he's the time. Who? He's okay. He's, he's like, in the stands yeah, doing the wave. You're like, how do you get up there? He's a good guy. He's the mascot. What's well, going on? But when he's pitching, one of the most intense humans on the planet. Wow. So he, uh, someone was supposed to throw a first pitch at a Mets game. Uh oh. <laughs> Max took the mound, I guess a little early because he wanted to warm up. And just was like, no. Yes. Who was supposed to throw it? It was some guy who just I hope wasn't, it wasn't someone who was dying. I'm sure it was somebody who they were like, we'll get you another game. But he just was like, he wouldn't leave the mount. He was like, nope. And It'd the be guy, funny if the guy fought him. You could see, I mean, you could <laughs> oh, just no. see confusion. You could see everyone being like, this is kind of just like a basic thing we're supposed to, like, the this first kind of like, this happens every game. This happens Mac. every game. It's kind of a stupid tradition we have, but like, well, what do you do? And he just, he wouldn't even like look over. He just wasn't leaving the mount. And so like, you just see a lady like run out being like, come back, come back, come back, come back. And and you just, think you just don't. He's, he's a little aggressive. Like, I'm the owner of Quiznos. I'm going to throw the first pitch here. <laughs> that is who usually gets the first pitch for the record. It's yeah, usually it's... like it's usually like somebody runs a charity and then like a local business guy who's like, yeah. I've donated enough. I'm throwing this pitch. Man. Occasionally a celeb. but Occasionally a celeb. Rarely. But that's like the good ones. Yeah, yeah. I mean, man, how many people have thrown that first pitch and they're like in their heart? They're like, I know probably not. But, like, there's a chance I could throw it so good. Oh, yeah. That maybe somebody recruits me. Like, and they're like. Ah. I've I've worked. I've caught for a couple people who were going to throw out a first pitch. And, like, we're, and there were some people who I was like, you're throwing heat. And yeah. I just want to remind you. You're not, you're not going playing. to play. Yeah. Nobody's trying to hit the ball. You're just yeah. supposed to get it over. Yeah. You're, like, you're not going to. They're just like, brought, they brought me up. Yep. This to is my To the shot. majors. If I. Throw, Rookie of the year. It's a 65-year-old man. I've been hunting a first pitch for. My entire career, I will get one eventually. You will for the Nationals, and when I do, have you done? Uh, have you done um, minor league first pitches yet? No, I haven't done any. I haven't done any effort to make this happen. To oh. be clear, you're just putting it out in the universe. Just putting it out in the universe. I would love to throw out a first pitch. If there's anyone can, who can facilitate that specifically at any for location. the Nationals, as that is my team, and it'd be an honor. You would turn it down for another team? No, I would do other teams. If but the Pirates were like, "We've got you," I'd be like, "Great, I'm a pirate." I'll put on a pirate jersey <laughs> for a day. I'll put on a pirate costume. I don't care. Yeah. I wouldn't do it against the Nationals. That's integrity. That's that's where I draw the line. It's a pretty small line. I mean, it's a yeah. pretty. I don't want them to I just think don't want I them don't to love know. them. I don't want my players to know. They know how much I love them. They, they see my tweets. They, oh, I tweet all the time at them. And let Boy. me tell you, I have never been acknowledged by DC Sports one bit. That is devastating. They have never acknowledged me. And I'm like, you have Wally. That's it. That's our only real famous fan. In all of DC sports, you don't want to just take a gander in my direction. Over here at old DC Danny. Danny? I understand that I'm not the most famous person on the planet, but I don't know. I'm I, the only one talking about you guys. I'm the yeah. Uh, for what you guys That's have, true. Yeah, start, we're gonna start a new hashtag. It's DJ for DC. DJ for DC. Yeah, I love that. And then you get hired to be the sound guy <laughs> at the Nationals games. Da, na, 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 na. I did that for. A little bit in high school for the baseball team. I you was did. like the sound guy. You were the sound guy, and I did the like up next announcements. And then I got yelled at once, and I was like, "Because you got too into it, you were like calling the game, like you just say who's on the plate." I made joke. I would make jokes, so I would like, like I had like a bunch of sound effects I would do that were pretty funny. <laughs> and they're like, "Enough." And, yeah, basically, you were a full blown radio DJ, and they're like you just say the game. Started. Well, no, I remember <laughs> I had like the one that got me in trouble was the manager came out. He was angry at the ump. And they like yelled at each other, and then I had a little sound cue, and I knew, and I had like had it for a while. And I was like, like, I've been this waiting be funny. for this. And then I played. What we have here is failure to, to communicate. communicate. <laughs> and big pop from the crowd. Umpire turned around and was like, "No." And I was like, All right. "You're out." And you're like, was, "How do I get thrown?" And out? I was like, "I'm done with this. I thought this was a fun thing." Oh yeah, I thought we were doing sports radio here. I thought we were having fun up here. Yeah. I didn't know we're we not going to win. Let me have my sound effects. It's the yeah. it's the Langley Public School baseball. We're not good. Man, you were bad. We had one. Anyway. We had one guy who was a like second, third round draft pick. My like freshman year. What's crazy is like he blew out his arm immediately. Never made it. But no, see that can happen. Wander. Oh. Right. Wander's already made it. Oh, Wander Junior. Wander Junior. Junior. Junior Junior. Junior Junior. Wander Junior Junior. <laughs> junior the. 
or the third. I guess that's yeah. what they do is when they go he's, to the third. But he's the fifth. Oh yeah, the fifth. It's complicated. It doesn't make sense. Do brothers count? What else is going on? Um, the Reds. Cincinnati. Very good. Uh, pulled off what is almost impossible to do. They won. They lost. <laughs> wow. A baseball game without giving up a hit. Almost impossible to do. They walked people. They walked one per. They walked three people and then allowed an infield ground out to allow their only run. Did not score a run. So despite giving up zero hits, lost a baseball game. Almost impossible to do. Wow. That is is horrific they should just shut down cincinnati it feels bad that team is that they team is leave. that team is losing at a rate that is like second to none we talked last week about tanking when teams just like purposefully lose i don't think there's ever been more of like a like wow imagine being like i pitched my first no hitter how'd it go <laughs> <laughs> well we still lost we still lost some hell but yeah it felt good out there but they did walk a lot of people like, they won't remember what i did they uh yeah no nobody hit because they all walked onto base <laughs> but you know That's... it'll be something that they have in their record books forever is a, it's nice for them to finally get in a record book a you no know? hit loss almost impossible to do and we were proud of them wow way to go cincinnati you did it we what go. does reds even mean i think it... it's a bird <sighs> that's a cardinal no i don't know that's what the cincinnati team. Reds stands for it's a it's a gum it's gum I wish it was gum. Red. Wasn't there a gum called red something? Oh, that's an interesting thought. Nah. Mm. It was a fiery flavored gum. Stay with me. I do remember that. Well, I remember the that old commercial, Simmon Red, the like, yeah, that, that gum. <gasps> they had a real advertising campaign. Go. So the, the team name originated from the high red socks or stockings the team wore with its knee length. I was wow, going to say. Oh, boy. They were like, I literally red socks. What do you mean red socks is taken? <laughs> I literally was like, I think it has to do with socks. And then I was like, I must be thinking of the red socks. Can't we be the Cincinnati Red Sox and they're the Boston Red Sox? There was no, a that's... real period in baseball naming history where it was like. What color Reds, socks? And are then you? it was the Red Sox, and then it was the White Sox, and I feel like at some point somebody was like, "Guys, we gotta look past." No, we're the Braves. Yeah, <laughs> like oh, ooh. Ooh. So uh, no socks. <laughs> They're hanging in there, Braves. They are not giving up that name. They refuse. They will chop, chop, chop. They will eventually. But when will it? They happen? all do. They all give in eventually. Just when will they, they become the Atlanta baseball team? Mm -hmm. And one Maybe final T. One final tale, just because I I feel like uh, this is a good positive one. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I always like to end on a positive one. Yeah. Bismarck Biombo is a Excuse player. Excuse me? Bismarck Biombo. Right. Player from the Congo. Who? Bismarck uh, Biombo, player from the Congo. Player from the Congo who plays Do for Do people the, say that as a phrase? Well, I feel like Because I, it's very catchy. Bismarck <laughs> Biombo, player from the Congo. Oh, that is good. It should be a song. That's anyway. Good. That's fun. Copyright. You can give me 10%. Thank you. <laughs> um, He's a player for the Phoenix Suns, just got eliminated from the playoffs. Definitely. He had a like physical altercation during the playoffs. Everybody was kind of like making fun of him. And uh, what nobody mentioned on any broadcast is that he's the best human on the planet. He's, he's been gone from, ba from basketball for a year because he was in the Congo. Uh, Defending. His dad died of COVID, was there helping people with COVID, came back to basketball. He's donated his entire salary this year to build a hospital in the Congo in the name of his father. I just want everyone to know I was going to say defending people in the Congo against COVID. Oh. Is what were. I was going to say. Wait. I was like, he was defending that because I know nothing about <laughs> yeah. international anything. I was yeah, like yeah. defending the Congo from the elements. From the COVID. But yeah, he's the best human. Wow. And they just didn't mention on any broadcast. Nobody, They're like, look at this bone Literally, head. he like came backstage like fight somebody and they were like, he's got a loose cannon. And I was like, he's literally couldn't you couldn't be a it's like cartoonishly good human to be doing what he's doing yeah but then it's like it all balances out you know and he's got a little don't get to know your heroes thought i liked him found out he's building hospitals lame <laughs> Ugh, just beat people up be an athlete what are you doing i like it that's great he's gonna this. it's that's huge positive note for bismarck biombo proud of him bismarck biombo player from the congo we salute you we salute you all right, we'll wrap this up in a second. Yeah, hey, bye. Oh, hey, during this break in the action, I have nothing else to say. I just want to give us a break in the action. Thank you for watching. Keep subscribing, rating. All right, we go. let's go back. And we're back. Sports. Um, <laughs> Jessica, thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. This was fun. It's fun, right? Yeah, it's great. You don't have to know sports to like sports. No, look at that. That's I learned I to... something. You learned one, some things. I learned one thing. A couple things. A few things. A lot of things. things. Lot so of, many names. 
lot of names. Yeah, and yet so few names. That's the hard part about a sports podcast is there's a lot of names, but you don't have to actually remember the names. No. Everything else is easy. Yeah, that's um, true. Anything you'd like to plug? Yes. Before? Follow me everywhere you follow people mm-hmm. at JMS Comedy. Uh, I got a real funny new podcast called Slobs. And um, if you like country music, I have a country song out and I'm putting out another one soon. So just look for that. If you don't like country music, do not even bother looking for that. It's not for you. Country song's great. Thank you. It's called Now I Need Whiskey. And then the next one coming out, nobody knows this. This is revealed. This is, this is a secret. exclusive. And well, it's not secret if you say it. I'm right potentially now, just... risking embarrassment here. No, I'm not. It's called Redneck Rhapsody, and oh, it's going to be a fucking bop. It's oh. a summer hit. Move over, whoever has the summer hit right now, because <laughs> you're never. A, I actually no was reading will, an article yeah. the other day. We don't have a summer hit yet this year. We don't. We don't have a song in the summer. This is your moment. This is it. We could all band together and make this the song of the summer. It's not out yet. It's not out yet. Hashtag JMS for summer. Hashtag yeah. JMS for summer. JMS for summer. It's yes. all about hashtags these days. It is. That's what the kids are doing. You got That's a hash, you got a tag. Yeah. And and also, uh, your first album is really great. Nobody should watch that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have two or comedy albums out. You have two. Yeah. yeah. Wow. He doesn't pay attention to anything. <laughs> Please don't leave me. I'm proud of it. Uh, <laughs> and Horny for Death. Ooh. Really leaned in there. I was like, you know what? I'm dirty and dark. We're just going to go all the way. You got it. So there you go. You like you like to laugh? There's plenty there. No, anything you like to plug? <clears throat> My plug is going to be your plug. Go see uh, Danny tape his special uh, or else I'll freak out. How about that? Let's yeah. fucking go. Yes, that is my only plug for the next forever is going to be... June 4th. June 4th. Dynasty, Dynasty typewriter. typewriter. Bold. Want my people. I know. Bold. Two, wow. shows, at Di- two shows at Dynasty. Hate Love. that room. You're going to crush. I love that room. Good for you. I am. I only did it once. Bad crowd. I'm blaming the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see how it goes for me. It's going to be great. It's going to go well. And now we close with a very special part that we call Three Shots of Glory. Oh, no. This is <laughs> unacceptable. Do you I have get, to shoot? You do. You're going to get three shots at the hoop sitting down. Sitting down? This is a disadvantage for everyone. I think it gives people more, more, uh, you have a little bit more of a thing. But yes, it's hard. Yeah, so We've okay. yet to have a person hit. At all. Any of them. Zero. You get three shots at it. But, except me, I've hit it a thousand times. Of course. This is but all this you is do. All, this is all I do. So, this is your entire personality. <laughs> some would argue. <laughs> some would argue. <laughs> some would hurtfully say. Uh, some would say if they were being mean. Um, <laughs> but if you do hit it, your headshot will go up on the wall. Wow. So that is going to be so wall. upsetting for you. Three shots. Here we go. First shot coming up for the podcast listeners. Oh, oh, I hands almost down the best shot we've had so far. This is, I mean, shot number two. Oh, oh my god, I almost hit it. Are you sure you want me to take a third shot? We do want a third shot. You will shot. have to have my headshot. I think it's gonna be great on your home wall. I love the confidence of this. It is up. It is oh, good. It is. Oh, first oh, one. You, oh, you are gonna get your nev- That's gonna end quickly. Electrifying uh, moment. The first. Winner of Three Shots of Glory, Jessica Michelle Singleton. Congratulations. Best episode ever. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. (laughs) Goodbye. You're a number one fan, so you know the stats. Heard all the pundits talking, so you know enough of that. Maybe it's time to hear some crazy folks chat about all the other stuff that's behind the net. But maybe you don't care about playing ball, and you want to hear the gossip where the big goes small. Maybe it's time to hear some funny folks talk about what goes on when the batter don't walk. Maybe you'd like to hear a little more. Maybe you don't even care about sports. Either way, go on and buckle up your shorts. Cause this is everything but the scores with Danny Jollis. Yeah, doggity.